Minister of State for Foreign Affairs Hina Rabani Khar has called for an easing of Western sanctions against Afghanistan under the Taliban government. She said the basic functioning of the Afghan economy must not be endangered. In an interview with a German newspaper, Khar said isolating Afghanistan economically was pushing the country into economic collapse. She said that in the current situation, it is not a good idea to continue to starve Afghanistan and risk an economic implosion in the country, adding that the economic support was necessary to help the Afghan people. Russian President Vladimir Putin has rejected British Prime Minister Boris Johnson's charge that if he were a woman, he would have not invaded Ukraine. Putin pointed to the former British leader Margaret Thatcher's decision to send troops into the Falklands as a rebuttal of Johnson's theory. Boris Johnson had earlier dubbed Putin's decision to launch what Moscow calls a special military operation against Ukraine, a perfect example of toxic masculinity, and mocked Putin's macho posturing. According to digital investigative firms, North Korean hackers are most likely behind an attack last week that stole as much as 100 million US dollars in cryptocurrency from a US company. The crypto assets were stolen on June 23rd from Horizon Bridge. Since then, activity by the hackers suggests that they may be linked to North Korea, which experts say is among the most prolific cyber attackers. UN sanctioned monitors say Pyongyang uses the stolen funds to support its nuclear and missile programs.